It was 1969, the beautiful day to fly. We were about 100 feet above the ground when I started noticing that something was wrong. It was engine failure. Trees were filling our windshield. I found myself above the crash site. And while I'm processing what I'm looking at, I can see a pilot, and this is me. No two near-death experiences are the same. Out of nowhere, a trailer truck kept me head on. But they typically occur in a very consistent process. We began to go down the river, and my boat became pinned. I was drowning. The first thing that happens is called an out-of-body experience. And they come to a place of exquisite beauty. They very commonly see a light. Deceased relatives come to meet them. The first person I saw was my grandfather. Now I'm traveling like a rocket ship, straight upwards. And with that, <laughs> oh my god, I'm alive. But not every near-death experience is a good one. 23% had hellish experiences. I saw a black tunnel. I was mean, just falling. I wasn't in fear. I was in terror. It was just darkness. Put me back. I don't belong here. I heard a voice before I woke up. You still have a purpose on Earth. I was very skeptical. I never felt alive and then dead. I felt alive and then more alive had full brain recordings from the dying human brain. Even though they were unconscious, they were able to give corroborative evidence. She's described herself that she just shouldn't know. The same right. You can't be mystified by that question. What happens after you die? This really does show that there is life after death.